Have you ever wondered what it would be like if two completely different animals were combined to create a hybrid? Imagine taking the best qualities of each animal to create a powerful new creature. For example, what if you combine the strength of a bear with the stealth of an owl? It sounds crazy, but it is actually possible. However, it is unlikely to happen anytime soon. In this video, we will explore some of the craziest hybrid animals that could exist in the future or might already exist. Let's dive in. Elephigal. Well, here's one more option of what hybrids of incompatible animals would look like. This time, artificial intelligence decided to please people with a mixture between an elephant and an eagle. The eagle is a predator that knows its worth. It'll never waste time. At the same time, this bird is incredibly strong and almost invincible in the sky. It's strange that scientists decided to bring it down to land, although the body of the elephant, no less powerful creature, is a worthy substitute for it. The only thing I don't understand is the idea of wings. I venture to suggest that wings instead of ears are the weapon with which an elephant would throw away wild cats jumping on their neck. By that logic, this animal may have no weaknesses at all. It's fast, hardy, has a very powerful leg kick, an agile and powerful trunk, and always ready wings in place of ears. I don't know if it's good or bad, but so far, the development of all these unusual animals is in process. Well, next you'll learn about already existing hybrid animals that'll surprise you no less. Barrel. The next creature in the scientist pipeline is called a bear owl, which is a hybrid between a bear and an owl. It takes its awesome fighting skills from the former, talking about long and sharp claws, muscular limbs, and the will to win crossed with fearlessness. Owls, on the other hand, have given the bear owl silence and pleasant plumage, allowing it to camouflage itself in the forest. Along with this, the ground predator will also possess keen eyesight, which will help it hunt absolutely any prey. It seems to me that even animals will fall for the cute appearance of this hybrid, for which they will instantly pay with their lives. The night hunter will forgive no one. Dear Gar, the eye revealed an intriguing finding about the possible appearance of hybrids. Specifically, the research focused on the deer gar, which is a crossbreed of a deer and a jaguar. While deer are typically preyed upon by jaguars and other wild cats, humans have attempted to crossbreed these two animals. I must admit, I do not understand the rationale behind this process, so I would appreciate it if you could share your thoughts in the comments. Nonetheless, the most fascinating aspect of this hybrid is its appearance. The jaguar and deer combine to create a creature with a charming face, complemented by strong antlers. Consequently, this swift and powerful animal could pose a threat to anyone who lets their guard down, even for a moment. Girafoys Artificial intelligence has become a popular topic recently, and it doesn't seem to be losing its relevance anytime soon. People are curious about what machines are capable of, how they function, what decisions they make in critical situations, and even how they can create new species of animals that are useful for farming. Scientists are constantly working on breeding new species of animals that are more efficient and useful for farming. However, predicting the appearance of a creature with only DNA data is impossible for humans. But artificial intelligence can do it. Scientists are planning to create a hybrid of a giraffe and a tortoise called Girafoise. The hybrid will have a very strong neck, high speed of movement, and excellent combat skills from the giraffe. From the tortoise, it will inherit a very strong shell and compact size, which will help it hide in low grass. Although the idea of creating a girafoise seems contradictory and may not bring any benefits at first glance, who knows what the researchers' motives are? Liger Firstly, let me tell you about the liger, which is a hybrid between a lion and a tigress. People often debate about which animal is stronger, the lion or the tiger. The lion is known for living in prides and standing up for its brothers, while the tiger is a solitary hunter that has mastered tactical fighting techniques to perfection. However, we may never come to a definite conclusion, so let's consider the liger as the main predator of the planet. The liger has combined the best qualities of both the lion and the tiger, 
becoming the largest representative of the Felida family at present. It can weigh more than 880 pounds, and its standard height is about 3.2 feet. When stretched out to its full length, the liger can occupy 13 feet or even more. This giant creature is a carnivore and needs up to 44 pounds of food per day. Fortunately, finding food is not a problem for them. Inheriting social qualities from lions, ligers can easily join any pride or small group of cats where it becomes much easier for them to find food. Even low temperatures are not a problem for these creatures. They have inherited dense fur with an undercoat from tigers, which makes them almost impervious to the cold. In severe frost, ligers like to lie in the snow, and in the heat of the day, they relax in the water. Africanized Killer Bee But it's not just terrestrial predators that these smart scientists are thinking about. Sometimes they come up with ways to improve the already dangerous bees. The Africanized bee, or the killer bee, is a full-fledged hybrid of the African bee and the European bee, created in 1956 by geneticist Warwick Kerr. The man, along with his colleagues, wanted to create a breed of bees that would be able to endure the hot Brazilian climate and, at the same time, actively reproduce. As a basis, the doctor took the African bee, which is known for its physical stability and high fertility, but he didn't take into account one thing, the fact that at the same time, it's much more aggressive and has incredibly toxic venom. Realizing that all this could lead to sad consequences for the environment, the lab technicians dared to stop their experiment and abandon all the work, but it was too late as it usually happens. Ironically, a few individuals broke free. The queen bees of the new hybrid began to actively crossbreed with local male bees and spread throughout Brazil. Also, these creatures are actively driving out other relatives and moving to the north of the American continent at a speed of 168 miles per year. It turned out that all these creatures are even more aggressive than scientists thought if someone suddenly finds themselves 16 feet from their hive. No matter how big or toothy the enemy is, they're going to be hurt. Autonomous fish Not only on the ground and in the air on our planet are there unique hybrid animals. For the sake of interest, it's worth looking underwater because there you can find a fully autonomous biohybrid model resembling a fish. It can swim under the influence of electrical impulses, coordinating the movements of its body and tail fin, and creating a push in the water. To do this, scientists grouped cardiomyocytes from two different sides of the fin of the model. These are the muscle cells responsible for heart contractions. The contractions of one side caused a stretching of the other, then the mechanically sensitive proteins activated by the stretching triggered a constant closed motion. The fish swam with a rhythm. In total, during the experiment, it made 38 million pushes. What's the point of this? Personally, I have no idea. Probably people want to study the heart and its rhythmic processes by such an unusual method. If it's so, I would already show my respect to them for the idea alone. But they even managed to realize it quite successfully. Everything that concerns cardiovascular research is never useless. Zippy, I can see that you have written a text describing a hybrid fish that was created using genetic modification. The researchers from the U.S. were able to increase the survival rate of the fish by 400% by introducing an antimicrobial alligator gene into the catfish genome. This gene helped prevent bacteria and other harmful substances from entering the catfish's body, making the hybrid fish highly resistant to infections. The new fish is not only more resistant to infections, but it's also completely sterile and unable to reproduce. This was achieved by adjusting the DNA of the aquatic creature. The complete sterility of the process ensures that there will be no unintended consequences for the environment. As a result of these genetic modifications, the hybrid fish has a longer lifespan, approximately four times longer than its original counterpart. The research team's success in this experiment shows that genetic modifications can be used to improve the health and survival of aquatic life. The strongest beer. The debate about which bear is stronger seems never-ending. Some people believe that the brown bear has no equal, 
while others stand firm in their belief that the polar bear is not only stronger but more powerful than the brown bear in general. It's impossible to resolve these disputes. In an attempt to settle the argument once and for all, breeders took a bold step and created a hybrid of a polar bear and a brown bear called a pizzly or growler. If these bears could talk, their first question might be, am I some kind of joke to you? Could you have given me a better name? Despite the lack of a creative name, the growler bear is a symbol of strength and power. It's moderately aggressive and offers hope for saving the gene pool of polar bears. In the past, global warming posed a risk of wiping out the polar bear population. But this issue is being gradually addressed as the growler bear adapts to higher temperatures. That's all, guys. Which hybrid animal would you like to breed yourself? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you later.